Hello traders, hope you are doing well. Now each and every day, I spend at least one to two hours to analyze the market. From the last four years, to do my market analysis, I use a charting tool called Trading View. This tool is very powerful and most of the important features of this tool is available for free of cost. In today's video, I would like to give you a complete guide about this tool and show you some of the important features so that even you can start using this tool and enjoy its features for free. Now the first thing you need to do is go to Google and search for Trading View. Trading View and click enter. You will be taken to this page. Now here can you see in.tradingview.com this is the link that you need to click. You will be taken to the home page. Now traders I will share direct link for this website in the description box below. You can click that link and you will be taken to this page. Now those who do not have a trading view account, the first thing you need to do is go here and click on get started. Now on this page, you will get to see different paid plans for this website. But as a beginner, I will suggest you not to go for any paid plans. Okay, the free version is more than sufficient. But those who want to try the pro plan for free, you have one month free access. If you want one month free access, you can click here. But for most of you, the basic plan will be more than sufficient where everything is free. You will not get all the features, but the features that you get is more than sufficient as a beginner. So just scroll down and click on try free basic plan. Now you can sign up through any of this method. But since I already have a TradingView Pro account with my Apple ID, this time I'm using one of my team members Yahoo ID and I'll be signing up. Okay. I'll enter the ID and password. Now I have to click on agree. Now here I don't want to change anything, but make sure you click on this. I would like to opt out of marketing emails so that you don't get any promotional emails. Okay. Now click on continue. So your account is now created. Now all you have to do is click on charts. So you can see here nifty chart is open. Now traders, I personally prefer the dark mode because it does not strain my eyes that much. But there might be some of you who prefer white background. To get white background, all you have to do is go here, click on this menu and from this drop down, just turn off the dark mode. Okay. Now you got the light version of the tool. Now for the first time, when a beginner looks at this, for him, things might look little complicated. But don't worry because in this video, I'll be discussing about only the important features that you need to use in trading view. Now to make things easy for you, I'll be dividing this dashboard into four sections. Here we have the left panel. This is our top panel. And this one is a right panel. And this is our bottom panel. Now first let us look into top panel. Now let's say you want to look at the chart of Reliance industry. All you have to do is go here and click this here type Reliance and from here you can open Reliance chart. It is not necessary that you always have to go here and search for a stock. Instead, if you just type the stock name, it will pop up. For example, let's say ITC. You got ITC limited here. So we have opened ITC chart. So this is how you choose the stock. Next we have time frame. If I click here, you have different options like one second, five second, one minute, five minutes chart, 30 minutes chart, so on and so forth. In one of my strategies, I told people to use 10 minutes time frame. But in this list, 10 minutes time frame is not there. If you want to add 10 minutes time frame, just go here and enter the time frame that you need 10 minutes and click on add. Now on the basic plan, you will not have option to enter this 10 minute, but you always have 30 days free trial. If you choose 30 day free trial, then you can add this 10 minutes time frame. Okay. So this was about time frame. Next, if you click here, you can choose what type of candles you want. For example, you can choose Heiken Ashi candles or you can choose line where only close price shows up or you can choose the traditional candles. Almost everybody use the traditional candles itself. 
Next, we have something called compare. If you click here, you can compare different index. Like you can see how Nifty is performing, S&P 500 is performing, or how Nifty and Bank Nifty is performing. You can compare. Next, we have indicator section. If I click this, here I can search for any kind of indicators. For example, moving average. So if I choose this, moving average indicator is plotted. Now, if I go here, this moving average section and click this by default it is 9 period moving average if I want I can choose 25 so I will get 25 moving average and at the bottom of this page if you see here on a particular date we can see E and D right E means earnings the company has released their earnings now if this is in green it means company's earning is in positive D means dividend when the company is giving out dividend now here if you see E is in red that means the earnings is comparatively less than the previous quarter. Now, apart from moving average, people will use different kinds of indicator. Let's say super trend. So if I click on this, now this indicator is plotted. So whichever indicator you want, you just go here, type and you can add. Now in the free version, I think up to three indicators you can add. Here there is no volume. So if I want to add volume indicator, I can just use this. Now I can even see the volume. Next we have something called template. There are some default templates, but if you want to create a template on your own, for example, let's say you want volume. Okay. Then you want moving average. So if you want this to be the default template, whenever you open this app again, you can just go click on template. And here, if you say save indicator template, it will be saved. You can give it whatever name you want. Next time when you open, you don't have to add the indicators all the time. Now next we have something called alert. If I click here, I can choose at what price level I want to be notified. For example, next time when ITC comes to this price. Okay, let me mark this level. Next time if ITC comes to this level, I want to be notified. I can set a trigger for that. Okay, if I go and click on plus here, I can add trigger at this price level. So trigger is set. Even here if I go enter the price as soon as the stock reaches that price I'll be notified via email or if I download the mobile app of TradingView I'll get notification. Next we have something called replay mode that is not useful for beginners so nothing to worry about that. Now here we have a section called layout. If I click here I have an option to choose different layouts. I can put two charts in the same window or three charts, four charts, how much ever I want. But in the basic plan, you can put only one chart at a time. But if you want to compare two stocks at the same time, what you can do, you can just copy this, add a new tab, you can go here, and then maybe here you can choose for, let's say Bank Nifty. So you'll get Bank Nifty chart here. So you can compare this with this. This is just an example which I'm giving you. But if you're using the pro version, you can have two chart layout at the same window okay now next we have one option here with this option what we can do is we can save our chart layout for example if I go to settings let's say I want to change the green candle color to let's say yellow for example I click on ok and if I save this next time whenever I open the chart it will be in the same kind of layout any changes you can do like for example, the wig color you can change, the body colors you can change, lot of different things you can do. And if you click on save, it will get saved for the next time. Apart from this, in the settings, you have different options to choose from where you can change the appearance of the chart layout. And if you click this camera button, you have an option to take screenshot. Now on the side panel, only less things are important. Okay, we are just going to discuss about things which is only important for you. Now on the left panel, if you click here, you can choose how your pointer has to look. If I click on dot, you can see the crosshair is in dot. Nothing to change, we can just leave this as it is. Now here, if you see, we have a section called trend line. If I click here, out of all this, only two things are important. One is this, that is the trend line. Another one is called horizontal line. Only these two things are important. Now if I choose trend line, what I can do is, I can mark the trend line here. This is very important for price action trading where we draw dynamic trend lines, okay? This trend line color also we can change. So if I just click here, I can increase the thickness or I can change the color, whatever you want. 
Next we have horizontal line. This is important for us to mark support and resistance level. If you just press Alt and H, you can mark this level and again you can mark this level. Maybe like support and resistance level. This also you can change the color or the appearance how it looks. Now in this section, the only important thing which I use is Fibonacci retracement. So if I choose Fibonacci retracement here, I click here, I can use it. Now if more people are interested, maybe in future I can make a video on Fibonacci strategy and put it on YouTube. If you are interested, let me know in the comment section. I will share that strategy with you. Next we have this paint. All these things are not at all important. Now in this section, one more important thing is this measurement. Now let's say I want to know how much percentage this movement was. If I just click here, take it up to this level, it will tell you from seven bars, the percentage of movement was 7.93%. With the help of this, you can easily calculate the target levels. Like after you take an entry, let's say this is your target. You can see how much percent of target you can achieve if the market goes up to this level. It is 11%. Now, if you want to delete all the drawings, just click on this delete button. Now, nothing else is important on the left side panel. Now on the right side panel here, you have some important things. If you click here, here you can add your watch list. You can remove all the default ones and here you can add stocks as per your watch list. Let's say I put Nifty, Bank Nifty. So you can add as many stocks as you want to your watch list. Having a watch list is very important because some days back I made a video on how to select stocks and choose the right stock for intraday trading. In that, I had given a watch list. You can add all the stocks to the watch list. Every day you can do chart analysis. You need not always go and keep searching for the stock. Now here you have uh, alerts, what and all alerts we set previously. Sometime back we set an alert here, right? What is active, what is not active, you will get to know. Now apart from this, there is nothing else that is that important here. We have covered the top section, the left panel, the right panel. Now in this bottom panel, only thing which I feel is important, if you go to trading panel, here you have an option called paper trade. If you click here and click on connect, what you can do is, you can do paper trading. See, they will give you close to 1 lakh rupees. So you can use this amount to do paper trading. Let's say you have a strategy, you want to backtest the strategy for one week and see, without putting your actual money, you want to trade and get a feel about the strategy you can do paper trading. So this can be a very useful tool for beginners. Now traders, apart from this, you don't have to worry about any other additional features of this tool. Whatever we have discussed now, if you just start using these important tools, it is more than sufficient. Now a question which a lot of traders will have is, my broker already gives me a chatting platform, right? There only I can enter the trade. Then why should I use TradingView? Now if you see, most of the professional traders they use TradingView as their main charting platform. Once they find a trade opportunity, they will go to their broker account and they will take their entry and exit. This is because TradingView has wonderful features. Now, especially for example, this indicators section, if you go, you will have a lot of different kinds of indicators, which you will not get from your broker. And time frame, you can get any time frame that you want. Now, one more thing, Let's say I drew this horizontal line. Tomorrow when I come back and see, this horizontal line and all will still be there. Some brokers allow this feature, some brokers doesn't. So every time in my watch list stock, I need not go and keep drawing the trend lines all the time. If I draw it once, I can forget about it. Next time I open the chart, whichever important levels I had marked, it will be there. And most of the brokers do not give you this alert feature, right? Now one more advantage. Some people keep changing their broker, right? Each broker's charting platform interface, it differs from one another. If you start using TradingView, even though you change your broker, it will not be a problem for you. Once you get used to this platform, I'm 100% sure you will not go back and use the default chart which your broker provides. Now traders, all I suggest to you is, for next one week, just give a try to this tool. If you like it, well and good. If you don't like it, no loss, right? But just try. I'm very sure that you will love it. Okay? Now traders, it takes a lot of time for me to make such videos for you. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you think this video will be useful for your friends, please share it with them. Now that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.